So I'm at my home base in Santa Monica, California, and I was thinking, what would be a fun place to go visit today? You know, Halloween is just around the corner, so I thought, hey, why not visit the Hollywood Forever Cemetery? So that's what we're going to check out today. Located in the heart of Hollywood, California, it's easily accessible from wherever you're coming from in Los Angeles. From the west side, you'll be traveling on Santa Monica Boulevard, where you'll be traveling through Beverly Hills and West Hollywood. Upon arriving the Hollywood Forever Cemetery, which is located at 6000 Santa Monica Boulevard in Hollywood, you'll want to head over to the gift shop. There you'll pick up a map for about five bucks, which will show you where everybody's buried. Over 100 years ago, back in 1899, Isaac Van Nuys and Isaac Lankersham, whose two names if you live in Los Angeles sound very familiar, created the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. In fact, it was one of the first of its kinds where instead of just creating a place near a church where you would bury people, they decided to create a 100 acre lawn park. So that's what we're at today. The Hollywood Forever Cemetery was originally called the Hollywood Memorial Park Cemetery. And it's one of the oldest cemeteries in Los Angeles. find some of the greatest names in Hollywood history buried. I'm here at the grave of Cecil B. DeMille probably one of the greatest Hollywood producers of all time. He was born in 1881 and died in 1959. And during that time, he produced movies, not just from the silent era, but also to the golden age of Hollywood. In fact, he's most famous for The Ten Commandments and for Cleopatra starring Elizabeth Taylor. DeMille entered films in 1913, and he directed dozens of silent films, including Paramount Pictures' first production, the Squaw Man in 1914. DeMille was one of the first directors in Hollywood to become a celebrity in his own right. From 1936 to 1944, DeMille hosted and acted as pitchman for Cecil B. DeMille's Lux Radio Theater, a popular dramatic radio show of the time. Gloria Swanson immortalized DeMille with the oft-repeated line, quote, All right, Mr. DeMille. I'm ready for my close-up in Billy Wilder's Sunset Boulevard, wherein DeMille played himself. I'm here in front of the memorial for Hattie McDaniel, the first African-American woman to win an Academy Award for the 1939 film, Gone with the Wind. She played the role of Mammy. But not only was she the first African-American woman to win an Academy Award, she was the first African-American woman to be heard on American radio. She was born in 1895. She died in 1952. And one of her last wishes was to be buried in the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. However, at the time, because of her race, she wasn't allowed to be buried here. So in 1999, they erected this monument to her as her final last wish.
John Williams Cummings, better known by his stage name Johnny Ramone, was an American guitarist and songwriter best known for being the guitarist for the punk rock band The Ramones. He was a founding member of the band and remained a member throughout the band's entire career. He died from prostate cancer on September 15, 2004. In 2003, he appeared as number 16 on the 100 Greatest Guitarists of All Time list in Rolling Stone and on Time Magazine's 10 Greatest Electric Guitar Players. was an American film and stage actor who appeared in dozens of films from the 1930s to the 1950s. The renowned for his dark, classically handsome looks that made him a matinee idol, Power played a wide range of roles, from film noir to light romantic comedy. He died at the age of 44 from a heart attack in 1958. Mansfield was an American actress working both on Broadway and in Hollywood. Mansfield starred in several popular Hollywood films that emphasized her platinum blonde hair, hourglass figure, and cleavage revealing costumes, and also having the ability to play the violin. She died at the age of 34 in an automobile accident. visit one of my favorite people at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. You may know the name, probably don't know the face, but I guarantee you, you know the voice. It's Mel Blanc, the man of a thousand voices, Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, I thought I thought putting tat, all the greatest cartoons you've ever seen on any Saturday morning. Mel Blanc was an American voice actor and comedian. Although he began his nearly six decade long career performing in radio commercials, Blanc is best remembered for his work with Warner Brothers during the golden age of American animation. He's most famous for being the voice of Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck, Porky Pig, Sylvester the Cat, Tweety Bird, Foghorn Leghorn, Yosemite Sam, Wile E. Coyote, although I don't remember Wile E. Coyote speaking too much. Woody Woodpecker, Captain Caveman, Speedy Gonzalez, Tom and Jerry, and hundreds of others. With over a century of history under its belt, the Hollywood Forever Cemetery's future is bright and it will continue to thrive as a place of refuge and comfort for families of all cultures, religions, and backgrounds.